All right, look, we got to talk. All right, we, we got to talk. So two things is happening right now. The media is crafting this narrative that the Giants chose Daniel Jones over Saquon Barkley, which is a lie. Okay, I'm going to get to that in a minute. Also, there's rumors that the Cowboys are going to pursue Saquon Barkley when he hits the market in March. Okay, so we go, these are the two things that we're we going to talk about. Let's just get to the, the Saquon Barkley contract for a second. One of the reasons why I'm, I Saquon get on my nerves is because the Giants went above and beyond to take care of this fool twice last year. Joe Shane went out his way to take care of Saquon twice last year. They offered him a bag at the on the bye week. Saquon turned it down. They offered him $14 million. In the offseason, at the start of the offseason, Saquon turned it down. Saquon turned down the same contract that Jonathan Taylor took. He turned it down. So way before we started negotiating with Daniel Jones, Daniel Jones didn't get no contract offered to bye week. Daniel Jones got lowballed to start the offseason. Daniel Jones got ripped for asking for $40 million and he still deserved his money. I Nothing. My stance on Daniel Jones hasn't changed. Daniel Jones won a playoff game with practice squad receivers. He earned that money. And at the same time, giving me the worst six weeks of offensive football I've seen in my 34 years on this earth, got his ass replaced. So two things can be true. It's like this, there's this narrative that, oh, because... Because I think we should draft a quarterback, I turned on Daniel Jones. No. The same way Daniel Jones earned that contract by winning that role playoff game is the same way he played himself out of New York by being garbage the first six weeks of the season. But this, this ain't about Daniel Jones. It's about Saquon. So long before the Giants gave Daniel Jones his money at the last second, literally the last second, Saquon, your greedy ass turned down two big deals. This is what gets on my nerves with Kayvon Thibodeau's media members like Jamel Hills of the world. And he's like, yo, y'all act like we didn't try to take care of Saquon. Even the idiots, there's some idiots who come at me on Twitter and there's some people in my comments. It's not a lot of y'all. Like I'm one of the, I have a great community. Y'all, a lot of y'all rock with me, and even when y'all disagree with me, y'all disagree with me respectfully. I don't get a lot of disrespect in my comment section. You know what I'm saying? I would like some disrespect in my comment section because, you know, I love shitting on people. I look for reasons to be a bully. If y'all want to go to war in my comment section, I have no problem airing y'all out. It's a long off season. I have no problem airing y'all out. Y'all not going to win. I got the mic. You got a keyboard. You can't beat me. But the thing is, there's still a small segment in my comment section that thinks Saquon Barkley is the best player on the team. And that's just not true. It's not. Going into the season, our best player was Daniel Jones. I stand by that. Now, I, I just don't understand what happened to Danny, man. Like, I don't know what... I don't know what happened to Daniel Jones. I just don't know. But whatever. He got hurt. So even when Daniel Jones gets hurt, right, I look at it like, was Saquon ever the best player on the team? Are we sure it wasn't Tommy DeVito for a month? Are we sure it wasn't my man Wondell Robinson? What I'm trying to say is this. The offensive line couldn't block until Andrew Thomas got back. If we're going to be real here, the, 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 the two best players on this team are Andrew Thomas and Dexter Lawrence, right? Those are the two best players on the Giants. If we're going to be objective, now, I, the fifth unit question of the day is who's the best player on the Giants, Andrew Thomas or Dexter Lawrence? It's one of the two. It's not Daniel Jones. It's not Saquon Barkley. It's not Kayvon. So what I'm trying to say is, Andrew Thomas got paid. Dexter Lawrence got paid. Daniel Jones got paid. 
Grand Gano got paid. The one guy who didn't get paid was the one they tried to pay first. And that's Saquon, because Saquon could turn it down the fucking money. Andrew Thomas took his bag. He's not the highest paid tackle in the league. Dexter Lawrence took his bag knowing good and damn well Quentin Williams and Chris Jones are going to make more than him. He still took his money. Saquon Barkley, God forbid, Christian McCaffrey and Alvin Kamara make more money than him. God forbid. So I, I, I get annoyed when people act like we chose Daniel Jones over Saquon. No, they chose Saquon over Danny. Danny had to win a playoff game to get a contract extension. Saquon got a contract extension at the bye week. Am I talking to myself? Am I talking to myself? Because I, I don't think y'all... I, why am I don't feel like I'm the only one angry at Saquon Barkley? It's like y'all think this dude walks on water and I'm like... I hear Kayvon go on podcasts and say dumb shit like, oh, we should have paid we should have paid Saquon before we paid Daniel Jones. We tried. <laughs> like, hey, they chose Saquon Barkley over Daniel Jones. Period. And there's not there's not a person listening to this video who could tell me otherwise. You you just can't tell me otherwise. It's just that Danny took his money. AT took his money. DL took his money. Gano took his money. Saquon didn't. Period. Early bird get the worm, nigga. As far as him going to the Cowboys, do we care? Giants fans, do you really care? I mean, like, come on, man. Like, I don't, like, I don't care. Like, if he wants to go to the Cowboys and stick it to the Giants, that's fine. At least, you know you know why? Because at the end of the day, Saquon, you're not a difference maker. I mean, you y'all could talk all this crap about, oh, the Giants don't have all the, the talent and we don't have the offensive line and all. Bro, so the hell what? If you're that guy, you are that guy. Saquon never elevated his team. You were the second overall pick. You were compared to Barry Sanders. You was allegedly touched by the hand of God, according to Dave Gettleman, who I got to do a whole nother video on probably Monday because Dave Gettleman wouldn't, recur, wouldn't return Broncos calls. So we, I definitely got to talk about that. But Saquon, like, you never did nothing for us in six years. In six years, all Saquon Barkley did was get injured and underperform. I don't give a damn if he go to the Cowboys. I don't give a damn if he go to the Eagles. Excuse me for not being scared. Like, yeah, yeah, yo, y'all yeah, yeah slurp this dude too much. And, and, and you know what's so comical to me, speaking of my comment section and speaking of Giants fans? You know what's so comical to me? What makes me, what's so comical to me is, y'all get mad at me for holding, y'all get mad at me for holding Saquon Barkley accountable, right? Y'all get mad at me for holding Saquon accountable. But the minute I held Daniel Jones accountable, oh, he's seen the light. Fitz Vegas has finally seen the light. Daniel Jones is in it. It's about time, Fitz Vegas, we tried to tell you. Why don't y'all keep that same energy with, Dan, with, with, with Saquon? Because a lot of the same things... Did y'all say Daniel Jones didn't do? Like, put the team on his back, elevate the team, all that? Bro, Saquon ain't done that. I, I really don't think we should give him a contract extension. Just let him walk. Don't even tag him, bro. Just let him walk. Don't tag and trade him. Don't just let him go. Because the last thing we need is Saquon going back on podcasts, threatening to hold out and shit. Like, eh, whatever, bro. Like, whatever. But anyway, throw those FUs in my chat if you rocking with me. My name is Fist Vegas, and I approve this message.